Alright, now we're going to set up the kismet that will actually spawn our bots into our game. Now, I'm going to set up something to keep this a little bit easier on us. First off, let's start with the first path of our initial bot, which is right here, kind of at the front gates to the building. Now, I'm going to select both of these actors, and let's pop into Kismet, and kind of here off to the side, I'm going to right-click and create new object variables using both of these objects. I'm going to put both of these inside a comment, which I will call bot1. Now, this is temporary. I will be getting rid of this comment. This is just a way to kind of help keep things straight. In the end, I don't really care which of these is the destination and which one is the origin, because, again, he's just going to be patrolling back and forth. So it doesn't really matter where he begins. He's still just going to be repeating that motion over and over again. So let's jump back out of Kismet, and we'll grab our next set. So along this corridor, jump back in right click new object vars hit C and let's call this bot 2 and you see where we're going so let's go ahead and do the next set as well new object vars put this down here and we'll call this of course bot 3 put a space in there and then we'll grab this last set Actually, it's not the last set. It's the last set for our bots, though. And this will be bot 4. And we actually have two more for the boss. So let's carefully select those around any other objects that may be there. So there's one node actor. And here's the second. Create variables for those as well. And hit C. And let's just call this boss. Okay, now, with those established, it'll be a lot easier to get the rest of this hooked up. The first thing we're going to do is start off with a level loaded. So right-click, new event, level loaded. And at the beginning of the level, we're going to start storing some values. So let's right-click, come down to set variable, and we're going to be setting an object. And this first one, we're going to be setting up the destination. So at the beginning of the level, plug this in. And I'll give this an object comment of set destination. Now, what's our target going to be? Our target will be the singular object variable for destination that we have over in our global variables. So let's create a new named variable called destination. And we're going to plug this into the target. Now, for bot1, we can grab either one of these variables, and we can use this as our destination. Now let's grab everything you see here. Let's hit Control-C, Control-V, move it over, and we're going to set the origin. So now let's take our object comment, and we'll set this over to set origin. Now let's take our named variable, change the find var name to origin. It's pretty easy. And we'll delete out node actor 7, and we have our, in this case, node actor 6 that we'll plug in over here. Now we can just get rid of our comment altogether. If you want to, though, you could just take this and move it so that it surrounds this set here. So now you can kind of keep track of who you're spawning if you wanted to do it that way. It's purely optional. But once we have established what our variables are going to be, our next step is going to be to fire off the remote event that will actually call on this. So let's right click, go to new action, event, and activate remote event. I'll stretch out our box a little bit. And we need to give this the name of create bot. And what we're doing is we're referencing this create bot remote event. So create bot, like so. So what, what have we done? We have stored the destination, we've stored the origin, which means that when create bot is actually called, origin and destination are ready to go and we're ready to spawn our first bot. Now at the end of our activate remote event, we're going to add an activate delay of a quarter of a second, so 0.25. 
And then we're going to spawn our second bot. And the cool bit is this gets progressively easier. So let's grab all of our sequences so far. Hit Control C, Control V. Paste these down below like so. Now I'm going to delete out the note actors that are already in there. We'll grab the next set for bot two. Let's bring those in. And again, it doesn't really matter which one goes first. So we'll plug this guy in. And plug this guy in. And we can surround all of this with bot two, if we like. Now this is where it gets cool. We just take the activate remote event and wrap it back around so that as soon as we're done spawning bot one, we wait a quarter of a second and we spawn bot two. Now I'm just gonna hit control V to paste in again. Delete out the two node actors. Grab bot three, slide this over. We'll plug in our variables accordingly. Again, order is irrelevant. Move the comment block into position. And connect to the previous. So now we're spawning bot number three. And we'll line that up just a little bit better. All right, now let's paste one more time. And I'll just go ahead and do our connection first thing. Grab our variables for bot four, put those in position. Take out what was already there. And we'll move our comment into position as well. And our last one, we'll paste in again. Wrap all the way back around. And by now you get the idea. So we'll delete these guys out. Put in our two new notes. Take our boss. Pull that in like so. Now, be sure to grab your activate remote event on the last one and change the event name from create bot to create boss. If you really want to make things hard, make all of the bots bosses. So now we can just grab all of these together, put a comment around everybody. It's called spawn bots. And we'll size that up just a little bit. And let's give this a quick test. So we'll close, jump into our level, and let's move our block out of the way, and we'll run around the corner, probably get hit by a few blocks, nope, I made it through, and we have some bots that are spawned. Now they don't see us yet, and they're not really doing anything just yet. But we'll take care of the behavior shortly. The point is, we've actually got our bots. Now, the couple things we have left to do, we need to set up some movement ability, and we need these guys to start patrolling back and forth, but we haven't established that yet. So let's go ahead and jump out of the game, be sure to save your level, and then we will continue from here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.